learn about Jesus through religious education and by watching certain videos that explain Jesus' life, his death, his resurrection. We do lots of prayer in class and at assemblies, which is good because we get to connect with God. And we do have school masses, which is nice to just go to church and be reverent with everyone else in the school. Praying about God because I know he's happy about me. We do. We get into groups and do plays and stuff of some of the stories from the Bible and like do videos of like reenacting re some of the things from the Bible. We have masses and we read the Bible and we can go on the computers and search up things about Jesus and then we can write them in our books. We do meditation and we read the Bible. We do pray. We learn through them in prayers and we do it in all the acts that we learn about doing book work, research. Yeah, we do like Christian meditation every Tuesday and every Thursday from 9 to 9.15 and sometimes on a Friday you can go up for a lunch and do it, which is good just to calm yourself and talk to God spiritually and mentally. We always do religion every day so we can learn a lot about Jesus and all the ways he could help other people out when they got hurt or something else happened to them. Understanding faith has like games and you can use them for, they're like religion games you can use. Like the interaction that you get to use, like you get to interact with everything on it and then it's also got those reading bits if you just want to read silently to yourself but also you get to watch the videos. Music, uh, quizzes, activities and like um, the stories. The slideshows are really cool and the videos and because they're really interesting and they really go well with all the stories. The quizzes, the songs. You get to learn about Jesus and God in different ways that you would normally do and when you do it's more exciting when you get to go out instead of just doing book work. All the activities and the slideshows and the um, drawings of Jesus and um, the cartoons of him. I enjoyed watching all the videos because it wasn't just the teacher saying it in their point of view, it was someone else's point of view and how they were telling the story. And there were activities to do which made it interesting. Many people would agree that we're never bored in religion. That's one thing that's certain. Learning about the boy that saved the Israelites and I thought it was really cool how God split the ocean in half. The Easter story as well and the Last Supper. Treat people how we want to be treated and we should treat people with respect. How Jesus died on the cross for us yeah. and still forgave the soldiers. Forgave the soldiers even though they were the, one that, the ones that crucified him. We learn about Jesus that he helps people and he, he's the son of God and he, he forgives people. I like altar serving because you, um, you get to help the priest with other stuff like jobs, you get to, you get to be on the altar as well and um, you help other people. How he gave people a second chance if someone did something wrong and gave them a second chance. Um, at having another go at something that they didn't achieve. To me it feels like that the priest is like Jesus and we're, and then the altar servers are like the angels so it's like we're serving the priest. I find the ascension really like a really big miracle because no one else has been able to do anything like that and it's just amazing that Jesus could. Even if the person that treated you like bad, you still treat them good. Like no revenge or paybacks or anything. Jesus died, that means that in fact he did the sad thing for the right reason. Mm -hmm.